given now we are going to solve this problem which is uh, based on all the concepts which we have covered till now determine the reactions at a here and at b for the beam loaded as given diagram so if you see the diagram there are two ends a and b hinged at a and b there are four forces 60 100 40 and 20 newtons acting at a distance of one meter to one and then again one this 40 newton is at an angle of 30 degree and the 60 newton is at an angle of 60 degree now how to solve this problem so let's say uh, there are two hinge points a and b so we can say there will be two reactions at point a and b so at point a and b reaction ra and rb will be acting so if i say uh, i'll show here so let's say this is the reaction R A and this is the reaction R B. Now at this point A the force is inclined. So we should say that at A point there will be two reactions or we can say the reaction will be inclined. So this will be R A actually and it will have the two components R A vertical and one component that will be R A horizontal. Now why I am taking like this because at the A point the force is inclined so inclined force means we can say an inclined reaction will be there having two components RA vertical component of reaction A at point A horizontal component of reaction at point A but RB is having no force acting on, on B point so RB will be only vertical so there are two RA and RAV and RAH horizontal and vertical component of reactions and B will have only vertical component of reaction that is RB. Now we can solve this very easily uh, with the help of equilibrium condition. So what is the equilibrium condition here? It states that sum of moment of forces will be zero sum of horizontal forces will be zero and sum of vertical forces is zero why because this is actually a coplanar non-concurrent forces so that is why we are taking with moment of forces also now first we will apply the same taking moments about a and equating it to zero now where is the a point so this is the a point take the moment about this point so first load is 100 into 1 so that is 100 into 1 plus this is 40 inclined so what will be the vertical it will be 40 sin 30 so 40 sin 30 into what is the distance 1 plus 1 2 so into 2 plus again 20 exactly verticals 20 into 4 okay now we are taking downward positive so rb reaction b it will be upward so it will be minus so this is minus rb into the total distance 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 that is equal to 5 so this is equal to 0 now why I have not taken 60 because there is no distance no doubt this force will have the two components horizontal and vertical but we are calculating the moment at point A so this is the method to solve the question if any force system is there apply the moment of force equation and two reactions will be there take the moment of force either about A or about B then you will get one of the reaction so we will see how here we can we can find out RB very easily so what will be that 100 plus 40 plus 80 minus 5 RB that is equal to 0 so from here can I say RB will be 220 divided by 5 that is 44 Newton so this is the easiest way take moment of force 
about any of the reaction so one reaction will come from that now we can apply the second condition of equilibrium that is what either x direction forces is zero or y direction forces is zero so let's say with x direction zero what we can get now in the same diagram i'll show you in the same same diagram x direction force is zero so here what is the x direction force r a h reaction in horizontal direction plus 60 it will have also the horizontal component that will be 60 cos 60 okay horizontal component of 100 0 horizontal component of 40 40 cos 30 but if i resolve this 40 the direction of 40 is this so component will also be here in this direction so it will be what 40 cos 30 and it will be 40 sin 30 but the direction will be in this direction horizontal component so that is why it will be minus 40 cos 30 that is equal to 0 why because 20 will also not have any horizontal component and even reaction will not have any horizontal component so we can find out rh so rh will be every value will go there so it will be 40 cos 30 minus 60 cos 30 so we are getting 34.64 minus 30 after solving we are getting reaction horizontal reaction that is 4.64 newton similarly we can find out the vertical reaction how we apply the third equation of equilibrium that is what uh, sum of all the forces in y direction zero so can you tell what are the perpendicular uh, what are the vertical forces first at the at the hinge point a first r a v vertical reaction then no uh, this is the horizontal reaction then 60 it will have the vertical component that will be minus 60 sin 60 now i am taking minus because it is this 60 is downward its component will also be downward right and we are taking rav positive because upward we have considered as positive so its its component will be downward so this it will be minus so that is why i am taking minus 60 sin 60 after that 100 it is again downward so 100 it's your wish you can go upward positive or upward negative it's your sign notation but follow the same in throughout the question now 40 again it will have the downward component that will be 40 sin 30 minus 40 sin 30 and then 20 it is already in downward direction so minus 20 again vertical now it is upward direction so it will be plus rb that is equal to zero so this is a vertical force equation now can we find out uh, uh, rav because we have the value of rb that is 44 newton so we apply the same so rav at point a vertical reaction that will be equal to 60 sin 60 positive uh, when we take it on that side of zero 100 positive 40 sin 30 positive plus 20 minus rb we have the value of rb now we fill all the values here we are getting 51.96 100 plus here we are getting 20 plus 20 and this is 44 so in this way we are getting rav 147.96 newton so you get the value of reaction in vertical direction at a point value of horizontal reaction at a point and then rb but these are the two values in horizontal and vertical components this is not the reaction so we have to find out the reaction so what is that ra is equal to under root of rh square plus ra v square that is under root of 4.64 square plus 
0.96 when you solve this we are getting 148 newton this is the reaction only now we have to find out the direction also at which uh, direction it is acting so we know that tan theta that is equal to R A V divided by R A H. So this is uh, when we make theta that is equal to tan inverse R A V that is 147.96 divided by 4.64 that is equal to 88.2 degree this is the angle between the action and a with x axis so this is the angle between the action at a point with x axis and this way we solve the problem